So if you've been following my game data stuff and you have actually built inside of your game a game data system just like mine to import CSV information inside of Godot and you can actually access them and edit on the CSV editor. So you want to watch this video because on this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can actually process that game data to build structures inside of Godot. So let's say on this case, I want to convert those string arrays back to a enumeration array after it has been imported from the CSV inside back to Godot. So on this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that and why is this very useful. This type of processing game data to build structures and to edit things as you want will actually help grow your project into bigger and more complex things in a smart way without having any issues whatsoever. And also don't mind my voiceover, I am a bit sick, so my voice can be a, a little weird. So let's get right down to what this is all about. So if you have used my game data system, you can actually build through CSV a structure data. So inside here of LibreOffice, I have here a spreadsheet. And once it gets important inside Godot, this is how it actually looks like. So you can see here that everything that we have typed on the CSV is being imported inside of Godot and it's being displayed here through a print system. And if you're curious for the code for the CSV, it's actually not that difficult to do. This is everything that it needs to do to import that CSV. And this I have did you know, on some tutorials about it. I have changed a couple of stuff. This is the code that I'm using now. I haven't changed much. And basically what I want to do is the following. So this function is responsible to import the CSV data from the CSV file back here to Godot. But I have a problem. I am working with AI and I actually want to define attributes for every single unit. So it's kind of like behavior, but it's not actually behavior, but it's something like that. So here I want to place a lot of attributes inside a given unit and I want to AI to react towards it. And I'm going to make code that does that. But here I have an issue because once Godot imports this from the CSV back inside of Godot, the import logic, the interpreter for that is actually a simple string to var. So all of this is to import that CSV through data inside of Godot. So you can see here that everything is being imported, including the attributes. So here is my attributes, as you can see, the attacker and the alpha units for the alpha ghost soldier. So what I want is to convert this back to enumeration. So I want this attacker and alpha unit to turn back into an enumeration for my auto load game data through its object data enumerations. I want it to become an integer so the code can execute faster, etc. So how do you actually do, do that? So in the past, what I've worked on other projects through the CSV, I have tried to build the logic to create structures from the data right inside of here. So right before we actually save the data, I would create special functions to treat the data, to build structures and to read if this is an attribute, an object name. So anything that you want to build after the data has been imported, you should not do on the same function you import the stuff. So the function that you import the information from the CSV, you can just leave at that. This is just a parse function that does the conversion from CSV back to Godot. And now we want to build structures. So the best place for you to do this is on a separate function. So here, after I have built my game data, I am actually processing it later. And this is the function I want to show you. So here, through its file name, I'm going to get its data of our name by splitting the extension out of the file name and file name because the CSV is being imported. So it's using the file name for that. And here I'm basically matching the data of our name to build the structure I want. So prefab data is the spreadsheet I'm using here on LibreOffice. You can see here prefab data. I have some test sheets as well, like the asset list. But let's work with the prefab data. So this is the current data you are seeing here. So this is how you can access the data from the auto load by you doing game data get and you pass the, dot, the data of our name. So I believe this is the auto load. And here you can see we have prefab data dictionary as an empty dictionary. 
And this is the place where we are, gra we are going to grab the game data. So now we want to access every single unit. So you can see here that we have a couple of units. Let me get back to my units here. We have three units here and they are being stored under integers. So for every single line I'm using as an ID for the units. So the AlphaGo soldier is being stored under the integer four because it's line four under the CSV file. And you can see here on line four, it's actually the unit ID is the AlphaGo soldier. So for every single unit ID under my current data, which is all of that, we're going to be grabbing its string attributes. So these attributes right here, which have been stored under the integer number 18, which is the enumeration for attributes, as you can see here. So the attributes we are being stored are just the way they are imported through the CSV. And we are, be, we are going to be generating a new array, which is going to be storing those attributes as enumeration integers. So this is how you can convert the strings back to enumerations. You simply do a get function inside the enumeration. So through my object data inside of the outer load game data, I am doing the get function for every single string entry inside of the array of strings. So this is how you can convert the string array to a enumeration array. Now, on this case, I wanted to do that, but anything else you want to do through your CSV spreadsheets, like a list of object weapons you want to build later, you can simply list them as an array and later you can parse that through a special function to do just that. So this is quite handy if you're using my game data system to build your game. Anything you want to do off logic after the data has been imported, you can do through the a, a function called process game data and you put it there the spreadsheet names you want and you do whatever you want with it. And how you actually update that back to the game data. So we know that our auto load game data has imported all the data and being stored on the prefab data. Now prefab data is a dictionary. Dictionaries just by accessing it like here through reference, you're actually editing it. So whenever we access it and say to access its unit ID to grab its attributes. So this is actually a reference. We are actually editing the outer load game data when we assign the new attributes. So here we are assigning the attributes enumeration that we just built on here. And you can see here that through the sprints here, now the game data has been updated and my and you can see here that the array of strings that I had previously, now it's been converted to an array of enumerations that I can work out inside of my game. And you can see here, if I assign a condition, if my unit number four, so my alpha goes soldier, if it's attributes, which is 18, if it's second attributes, which is 19, if it's equal to our enumeration of object data alpha units, which is number 20, I believe. So here on alpha units on the enumeration list, and it is number 19, if that is equal to my enumeration. So before we process the data, it was a string and now it's an integer enumeration that is equal to the one we typed on the outer load. And you can see that this prints as true and it prints the name of the object we are just checking in and it is our AlphaGo soldier. So this right here is going to be very useful if you want to build and process your data to other types of data. So the data you import from the CSV file is not actually your final data. You can do basically anything else you want here. And whenever you start the game, the game will import your data, build it with it and it's, you can process into anything you want. So hopefully you found this useful as I have, and this will prevent you a lot of headaches in the future, because if you try to start to edit the function that actually is imported as CSV files, so this one right here on previous project, I tried to build logic of building data after it has been imported, and this turned this bit of code into a mess so by splitting it up into a different function, you can safely process your game data without having to worry you mess up the CSV import parts. So this is actually very useful. 
So hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you on the next tutorial.